Welcome to the Rusted Garden. This is the second video of two. In the first video I showed you how to build this self-contained wicking water system for tomatoes. Um, you can even use them for peppers. So I'm going to show you how to fill the bucket, how to set it up, how to plant the tomato. This is a black plum variety that I've been growing. It's more than ready to go into uh, the ground or container. These are backup tomatoes that I grew. You can see they're thick, they're ready to go. There's three different varieties. I'm not going to get these into the garden. I actually uh, had a pretty mild transition from cool weather to spring, so most of my transplants survived. These were just backups, but I'm going to use the homestead variety out of here for another bucket. And if you didn't want to grow tomatoes, you could uh, put a pepper in there. Uh, you could probably even do cucumbers or zucchini. Zucchinis get big, you got to watch that, but you could definitely do a bush type cucumber. So the first thing you want to do is set up the wicks and you're just going to pull them to the side. You're going to fill the bucket up halfway and when you do that the soil is going to push these out to the side and push them down. But you're only going to fill it halfway. Once you fill it halfway it'll end up looking like this and it's the start of your wicking system. Next thing you want to do is you want to cross these over so they're a little bit raised and you're going to put soil in around there. Now it's going to be a little bit hard to do, see how quickly I can do it so the video doesn't get too boring, but you're going to put the soil in, put it behind the strips, and you're just going to sort of build the wicking system. I'm using miracle Grow garden soil. It does have a lot of peat moss in it. You could use plain old, or not plain old, but you could use a better quality potting soil. The idea that you want for the soil is something that has a lot of organic matter so that it transfers over the water. Well, actually, so that it transfers the water throughout the container. If you use like the cheap topsoil variety stuff, um, it's got too much sand and dirt and it just doesn't move the soil around. So you're going to build, I'm sorry, it doesn't move the water around. So you're going to build up the soil in the pot, making sure your wicks sort of stay in this shape. And you get the idea. So I'm going to pour the rest in. And when you get about that far, you're just going to tuck the wicks in around the outside. You don't want them hanging outside the bucket. Um, not only will they wick water out into your pot, but if you leave the tops hanging over like this, they'll evaporate and then they'll draw water out of your container. So once you have that, fill the rest. You got the wicks spread out inside of there and covered. Get your tomato, this is the black plum. Loosen up the roots a little bit. Whenever you plant a tomato, you want to at least plant it a quarter to a third of its depth. I'm going to go with that. Dig the hole. Drop your tomato in. You see I'm getting it, the root system really deep down there. Press it in. Now what you can do for the top is leave about an inch and you could put shredded hardwood on top of there. That'll keep soil splash from coming up. It'll also help retain the water. Now that that's in, you see the towels hanging out from the bottom. You get your reservoir container, put that down. You would fill this up with water now drop your bucket in. You have the hole right there. You can either just stream water into there and fill it up whenever you need to or you could get a funnel. The funnel will insert there and it makes it a little easier to fill. But that's how you fill and plant and you set up the wick system in the self-contained watering system. If you enjoyed this video please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.